right now we need to pay respect to the fallen football players and officials of Chapacuente, uh, the Brazilian uh, team that was on its way to play Atletico Nacional, the Copa de Batadores champions, but they couldn't make it. They stopped in Colombia and um, the rest they say is history. 76 people gone, five survived. Shagu, I'm sure you heard about how did you take the news of uh, th this fallen team? Funny enough, um, the news, I was doing my regular radio program this morning, and the news came in as breaking news. But it's when I got home that the magnanimity of, or the magnitude, sorry, of the disaster, you know, struck me. And to be honest with you, it's, it's left me shaken. Well, of course, you and I, not once, not twice, have flown out on charter flights yeah. with Super Eagles. So this kind of thing can happen to anyone. We're talking with a plane that had sent two passengers on board, the nine crew, and we're talking about only five survivors, three of them players. We're talking about a team who are called the Leicester of South America, the Leicester right. of Brazil. That's right. Uh, uh, Chapecoense, you know, um, ninth in the, in uh, the league. Uh, Brazilian, Brazilian Premier league. league out or whatever. And, um, you know, but they've punched way above their weight. They only promoted in 2014. And, and this, this would have been probably their biggest match. The biggest in, in their in lifetime. History. This is a club club, you know. Uh, composed of journeymen, older journeymen players. That's right. Uh, young, very young players who are trying to make a name for themselves, fighting for the final of the Copa uh, uh, Sudan Sudan America. And, and it's really, really uh, against, as Riley said, the biggest fish in the pond, Atletico right. National. Of that's Columbia. right. We, we had, uh, it was uh, due to a, an electrical fault. Uh, the same plane that the Argentine team, uh, you know, flew back to Buenos Aires. You know, yeah. when they went to uh, play, of course, Brazil. At when they went to go chop 3 new beats. 3 new. And Belo Horizonte. So, it's quite sad and reminds, of, uh, reminds us of uh, the Bayern Munich disaster. Of course, the Chipolo Polo as well in 1993. Mm. Um, I mean, people, people die every day. Yeah. But uh, this definitely is dear to us. And uh, what can we say? May their souls rest in peace. From, yeah, from us at uh, Soccer Bites. And from the whole, and from Aki and Lip. Yeah, yeah, his, yeah uh, the whole crew. We'll and, see. you know, f the football confraternity. The gentle souls rest perfectly. Amen. So, the name of the club, no doubt, is uh, Chape Coense. And uh, we wonder what's going to happen. Maybe the rebirth of a very, very strong team. Like well, the, the match what was happened on Wednesday. So on Wednesday, it's been suspended. It's been suspended. I don't know whether they'll give them time to try and raise another. I don't know. You know whether they have a feeder club, their second team. It's that, a small that, club. That's another point. Though. It's a small club. The twenty-first, I think, in terms of, of, of yeah, net yeah, worth net worth in, in Brazil. Brazil. Uh, well, we saw the Chipolo Polo bounce back, qualify, give, give get to hell. the Nations Cup. Yes, yeah, they the almost won the yes, Cup of Nations. Yes, so. they did. Well, we're solidly behind you, and uh, we hope that they can do same as well. May your souls rest in perfect peace. Amen.